My Little Pony, The Runaway Rainbow. Pony Power. The unicorns were busy preparing for the rainbow's celebration in Eucornia. Princess Rarity had a starring role with a magic wand she would help make the first rainbow of the season. She just had to learn how. Rarity, please pay attention, her teacher, Cheerily, said. Who are these ponies? Rarity wasn't very interested in the lessons, but she did like twirling the magic wand. Rarity waved the wand above her head. Be careful, cried Cheerily, but it was too late. In a flash of sparks, Rarity was gone. Where did you go? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thump. The Breezies were quite surprised when Rarity dropped out of nowhere. Welcome to Breezy Blossoms, said Tralala. What's the bump on your head? That's not a bump, said Rarity. That's my horn. I'm a unicorn. Rarity explained what happened. Maybe the ponies will know what to do, said Zipsy. We'll take you with us to the Ponyville Rainbow Celebration. But I make the first rainbow of the season, said Rarity. If I'm not back in Unicornia in time, there won't be any rainbows anywhere, even in Ponyville. Oh no. Rarity followed her new friends to Ponyville. Welcome, Breezy, said Rainbow Dash. Who is your new friend? That's Rarity. She fell out of the sky, Tralala explained and she makes rainbows with a magic wand. I'm from Eucornia, Rarity said. I must get back home for the rainbow celebration there. Do you know the way? I've never heard of Eucornia, but maybe Spike has, said Rainbow Dash. Follow me. The ponies and Rarity went to visit Spike, the wise little dragon reading from a big book. Spike told a story about unicorns and how they make the rainbows that brighten the skies over Ponyville and everywhere else and across this page. You are a very special unicorn, Rarity, said Spike. If we don't get you back to Unicornia, there won't be any rainbows this season. No rainbows, cried Rainbow Dash. We have to bring Rarity home. The group set out on the journey, over mountains, across fields, and past rivers. The travelers walked on and on. Minty noticed that the pretty colors in Rainbow Dash's hair were starting to fade. They had to hurry. Spike led the group onward. Pinkie Pie was worried that they were lost, but Spike trusted his map. Rarity wandered off to play with butterflies. She chased them to the edge of the cliff and was just about to catch one. She kind of looks like Pinkie Pie. I'm confused. Is that Pinkie Pie? Which one of these is Pinkie Pie? Where's Pinkie Pie? Splash! Rarity fell into the river. Minty and Pinkie Pie tried to pull her out, but they fell in too. Okay, so if that's Minty, then that's Pinkie Pie. Luckily, the Breezies came to the rescue. They flew down to the water and lifted their friends up to safety, one by one. Hooray for the Breezies, cheered the ponies. But they're so small. How'd they carry y'all? One by one, I guess. It says so. Moving on. <laughs> that night, the travelers built a cozy campfire. As the rest of the group began to doze off, Rarity saw a shooting star. Tomorrow was the rainbow celebration. Oh no, Rarity whispered. What if we don't get back in time? If there are no rainbows this year, it will be all my fault. Rarity shook everyone awake. We have to keep going, she said. But they just fell asleep. Look how cozy they are. That fire's a little close. As the tired group trudged along in the dark, Rarity heard a rustle in the bushes. It was Cherry Rarity had never been happier. All she wanted was to go home. Cherry Lee was relieved to see that Rarity still had her magic wand. As Rarity, old and new friends looked on. She waved the wand in the special princess twirl to call the crystal carriage. Everyone climbed in for a ride through the sky to Eucornia. Free ride! Time was running out for Rarity to make the first rainbow. As soon as the carriage landed, the unicorns ran to the castle. 
All across the land, rainbow striped colors were fading. They had to make the rainbow fast. Oh no, colors are leaving. This is happening all so fast. Oh no, cried Charlie. The rainbow colors are all gone. What? I just found out that they were leaving. We've lost our chance. Rarity looked around at the dull room full of sad faces. She knew she had to do something. We have to try, she said. We can't just give up. Why do you look so happy? She must have a plan. The unicorns put their horns together. At first, nothing happened. Suddenly, Rarity's pink horn grew longer and started to glow. Then Charlie's purple horn began to glow too. It's working, cried Rainbow Dash. A flash of light from the unicorn's horns flew up to the ceiling and through the castle dome. Man, you guys are powerful. Laser, lasering roofs out. Ribbons of color filled the sky. They raced around Unicornia and out over the land, even as far as Ponyville. As all the beautiful colors returned, Cheerily told Rarity, you are a true unicorn princess. Everyone clapped and cheered. Yeah, but this isn't the ponies we know now. This is like generation three or something, I have no idea. I couldn't have done it without all of you, said Rarity. I promise that for as long as I am princess, there will be rainbows every day as a gift for my wonderful friends. That's lovely. The end.